I was invited in very early in the process, so the scripts weren't written. Uh, and we had a lot of really fruitful uh, talks about where we just exchanged ideas and, and what we would want. And, and very quickly we agreed that we didn't want to focus on Sarah Lund being a woman in a man's world, the world of police uh, investigation. And it's not that it's not relevant, it's not that it's not a relevant story, but we just felt that it had been told so many times before. And actually, I think we just focused on her as a human being, or I did at least, that, that was, uh, that was that was my focus, and I was interested in what makes this person, who happens to be a woman, because I am a woman and I'm playing her, um, what makes her want to choose this line of work? That, to me, was the key, you know, um, fascination of the character. Sir Melling is one of... Oh, he's a very, very good friend of mine. Um, um, I met, actually, we'd worked, before the killing, we had worked on a, a small film in Denmark, but I think that was about it. And when, we, when he was cast to the killing, um, I just, I remember he came in and did a casting where I was, uh, you know, playing a scene with him. And he's just so um, easy to play with. Sophie is a control freak and uh, which sometimes can be very, very annoying. <laughs> because, I mean, she insists on, you know, every line should be, I mean, the exact thing and the whole uh, arrangement when we shoot and blah, blah, blah. I tend to maybe have a problem with, um, I find losing control pretty frightening um, uh, when I work. And I always try to put myself in situations that pushes me to lose control. Uh, but and Sean Melling is a very good way of making you lose control because he's always doing something that you didn't know he was going to do, and he's so much fun. I like to improvise uh, sometimes. Uh, not that I do prepare for what we are doing, but sometimes just like, well, let's see what happens. Let's. I mean, shoot. Come on, action. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's very, very uh, bad, but sometimes you also are looking for something that you actually could not guess to begin with. So you need to just be very open and uh, rely on your colleagues, that they actually trust you. And Sophie and I had <clears throat> basically been working on, on the killing, and that was, uh, the chemistry was fantastic. Um, actually, I think the uh, main writer, he wanted to kill my character in the killing in episode 10. But he couldn't do it because the chemistry between Sophie and I was so good. So he insisted on that he kept me alive for eight more episodes. And actually, we, we, I moved in to, uh, um, we're neighbors, so we see each other a lot in Copenhagen. American author Stephen King he was asked what his uh, favorite top 10 TV series was. And three of them was Danes. I mean, it was like The Killing, The Bridge, and The Bargain. And I was like, wow. And then uh, he was asked, but why? And then he said, okay, if you take Bargain with a female prime minister, and a career, and a family, if that has been an American show, uh, the whole thing will end up like the, the, the woman playing the female Prime Minister, she will choose the family and not the career. But the opposite way is actually in Borgen, she chooses her career and she loses her family. And I think it's, it's, it has something to do with our mentality also. When we do work, when we, when we write, when we act in front of a camera, um, we're not afraid of showing, I mean, we're not afraid of being naked. We're not afraid of showing also the dark side of people. And uh, we insist on having this constantly dialogue about identity because everything, whatever, TV, books, films, it's all about identity. I don't get, uh, uh, you know, a massive attention when I walk the streets of London. I mean, some people recognize me, but, but it's not, uh, 
I think if I if I walked down the street in my jumper, then maybe that would help a bit. But no, pe the people who come up to me are really nice and friendly. And also, I think that, although that's one of the great things about this Nordic noir wave, that the, the whole star of this is really the Nordic noir. It's not, it's not the actors, really. I mean, obviously, we get some of the attention, but I truly feel that it's the, the projects. Um, and in my case, it's the killing. That's, that's the real thing, you know. Um, so I'm just very proud to be part of it.